Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Shomus Biology and in this video we are going to answer your query that is what is the expected cutoff of CSIR NET Life Science Examination or expected cutoff of CSIR NET 2022. Alright, so uh, here first of all I will talk about uh, the, the total marks distribution that uh, CSIR was providing in the last CSIR NET Life Science Examination that was conducted in February and then I will talk about the marks distribution that is conducted now. So you will see the comparative study and remember one thing that CSIR NET earlier always provided us uh, with the cutoff value in percentage but last time only for life science subject only they provided the value in percentile which I feel is really fishy and really really something to worry about because percentile value will not give you a clear idea about the exact amount of marks that you need to get out of the 200 marks. It's not a good idea to guess or to judge yourself. Always if you want to judge yourself, if you want to improve yourself in your examination, you need to know the percentage score because that's going to give you the idea. If you get 20% means you get 20 out of 100, you get 80% means you get 80 out of 100. But if you get 80 percentile, you cannot make sure the how much marks you're getting. It's not a good idea. It's a vague calculation. So I request CSIR net, please, please be little more serious to what you do. Uh, in the education sector, please be little, little more serious, okay, and put the values in percentage, don't put it in the percentile value. Now, <clears throat> I'll share you the information regarding the percentile calculation earlier in the separate video, but here, I'll tell you the last year's cutoff, and I'll also tell you the, this year's cutoff, but based on two important ideas, I'm going to share that. First of all, there's the wisdom of crowd because I've created polls and conducted polls in my YouTube channel and I found out the data and I believed in many cases this poll is supposed to be good and give us a clear data. It's called wisdom of crowd. So with this wisdom of crowd, generally we get a concrete data out of it, uh, but enough number of uh, people should vote for it. So in this case, I'll show you the data set and based on that, what people think about the cutoff, expected cutoff of CSRNet 2022 and then I'll tell you my pick of expected cutoff of CSR Net Life Science 2022. So let me share you all uh, this details. You can clearly see that here. First of all, uh, earlier what, what what they suggested us that this is the details of this is the details of uh, the CSR Net examination. I conducted two separate polls, and based on the two separate polls, what I got the data set is clear to you. One poll I conducted: How was the CSR Net exam paper today, the day of the examination three weeks ago? And people said moderate, 60% of the people said moderate, 13% very easy, 27% difficult. So it's moderate to difficult percentage goes to 87%. So that's something, moderate to high. That's what people thought. 11,000 people voted for it. So let's assume that is moderate to hard paper. And second thing is I, I asked for what do you think about the expected cutoff? Not many people voted because I already put it for nine hours ago. So 2,000 near about vote and we got that 98.8 percentile or more, 51% of the people thought of that and then 98 percentile or less is 23 people and exact values people don't go for exact values like 98.5 98.2 percentile I understand that but still there's a huge chunk 26 percent so what I believe is that people are thinking that the as the paper is moderate to high uh, earlier time it was 98.8 something so this time it will be 98.8 and more than that that's what people thought about it that 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 was what most of the people thought most of the aspirants thought. So now here comes the expected cutoff, what I believe. And in this cutoff, what you can clearly see is that earlier, if you check this, this cutoff for life science, uh, for GRF category, for all, uh, for GRF, for JRF, Junior Research Fellowship, for all the different types of category. And earlier for unreserved, it was 98.78. Uh, EWS 96, OBC 96.11, SC 90.5, PWD 64.76, ST 80, 4.87 mark uh, make sure one thing is that the decimal values are very important it's not like 84 84.87 and 84 gives you a lot of difference in percentile calculation so it's not that simple as percentage calculation so every single point is necessary so what i believe this time's cut cutoff will be little more than uh, what was earlier that is 98.78 near about that so will be 98.9 that's what i thought is going to be the cutoff for grf uh, in CSI Net Life Science General Category or Unreserved Category. For EWS, it's 96.18, OBC 96.20, SC 90.10, PWD 64.5, and ST 84.37. So anyone who got the score percentile value more than 98.9 can count on themselves to qualify CSI Net 
life science GRF in unreserved category this time. Now, if you get less than that value, in that case, you're not going to get it as a general category. But yes, for EWS, OBC, SC and ST category, the values are less. But remember one thing, no matter if you are not PWD category, if you don't belong there, then apart from that, anything less than 84 percentile will not secure you anything at all. Okay, anything at all. Okay, that is the idea of percentile. Remember always percentage value when calculated earlier, it was supposed to be 60% is good to go for GRF category and 54% is good to go for LS category for life science. But this time it's our percentile. So in percentile, it is always 98 more than 98.8. That should be the sweet spot to clear and qualify CS and life science GRF in unreserved category. So keep this in your mind. I'll, I'll put it into the background as well. I'll put it there so that you get to know about the expected cutoff. I'll, sh I'll see you uh, when the cutoff is declared. So, Shomus Biology's Diwali sale is going on and here what you can do, you can enroll yourself for the upcoming CSI net batch which is going to be uh, starting from February. But from now on, if you can join Shomus Biology, you need to pay less. That is 5,200 rupees. Uh, of the total amount that is 15,200 you need to pay only 5,200 now and you can join our course and you'll be getting all the materials uh, time to time in your like hard copy books and you'll be also getting some of the lectures recorded versions completely throughout this time period of two to two and a half months where you can prepare your basics and bare basics will be clear throughout this time frame and then the the interactive class will begin from February onwards for the upcoming six months and the validity of the course will be two years so it's a action-packed powerful course that you can join and literally you're getting two and two and a half months extra of that course by paying only 5200 now and the rest 10,000 uh, after two months I mean uh, by the time of 13th November so that offer is standing for the Diwali offer if you want to avail that you can avail it the link is in the description and you can also call us the the number is given in this video as well as uh, the whatsapp number is there you can contact us through whatsapp email or website uh, all the very best if you know yourself if you can calculate the scores it's actually very difficult but still i can tell you that if you check your score how much you're getting still that that calculation stands 60 percent or more you can get a grf so check your score find out the percentage value if it's 60 percent or more still you get the chance to qualify okay so that's all about it if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in the future thank you bye